See, the problem with fluoride is really we can't regulate it. We don't know how much fluoride we're taking. If you're very, very active, you're going to be having more fluoride because you're going to be drinking more water. Now, remember, you have coffee, you have tea, you have soup. All of these things are made with fluoridated water. I've been doubtful about fluoride for a long time. I've done some videos in the past about it, but right now it's really becoming a very questionable topic, more so than ever. So I felt it was appropriate to do another video, and I've done more research, and now I have even more concerns than I had before. A judge, a federal judge in San Francisco, recently found that there is sufficient evidence to indicate that fluoride in the water may be having a harmful effect, particularly on children, by lowering their IQ by three or four points. They're finding in a Canadian study that pregnant women who were exposed to fluoride had children who definitely had lower IQs by the time they were aged three and four. Two weeks ago, just two weeks ago, a study came out IQ was definitely related to the amount of fluoride in the water. In other words, the more fluoride that was in the water, the lower the IQ. And this was consistent over 74 different studies. Israel, for instance, was at one time having fluoride in the water. It no longer does. Why? Because they feel that the government should not medicate for you. It should not medicate your water for you. It should be a personal decision. A number of countries never started using it because they question the safety of it. And many countries that have started using it have banned it and are no longer using it. A number of counties and areas in the United States are no longer using it. Remember, this is a federal judge in San Francisco, not known as the most conservative state in the country, has found that there is evidence enough to take another look at fluoridated water and has ordered the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, to do something about it. You know, it's hard to avoid fluoridated water. Most bottle, many bottled waters, perhaps most, have fluoridated water. You have to look uh, perhaps on Google or other information sources to find out which bottled waters don't have fluoridated water. And the only system that I know of that can eliminate fluoridated water at home is called reverse osmosis, which is a fairly expensive system to put in. So remember, the government is medicating the water. Do we really want that to happen? And we don't know how much we're going to, they don't know how much we're going to be taking. Are we going to be taking a little or are we active and taking a lot? There's already fluoride in toothpastes and particularly children who use toothpaste and probably fluoridated tend to swallow some of that toothpaste. Even adults do a little bit, but children more. So they're getting even more fluoride that way. And then fluoride treatments. And for pregnant women, of particularly whose babies have developing brains, it's, it's kind of showing that the fluoride can have a negative impact on these developing brains. So we've got to take another look at fluoride. I know the dental community as a whole, the ADA, definitely feels fluoride is helpful. You know, as a dentist, we are trained that fluoride is helpful for your teeth, and it is helpful for your teeth. And I think it can be helpful for developing teeth. But again, is it worth it? We just don't know. The dental community as a whole feels positive about it. But I can't say that I necessarily feel that same way. The question of fluoride is something that, as I've been researching, I become more and more doubtful about, more and more concerned about. Are we trading IQ for less cavities in children? You may want to consider it yourself. Is there such a thing as a safe amount of fluoride, period? At any rate, think about it, guys. We'd love to have your comments and your questions. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'd love to hear from you. And I want you all, despite this, this somewhat disturbing news, 
I hope you can all have a great day. Take care. Restore your smile and your health. Visit drnemoth.com to schedule your appointment today.